wearing this hat here is why my hair is a mess quarantine life but that's not what you're here to see you're here to see the p3 pro suspension trainer my opinions uh, my review how to use and why i think you should go out and buy one of these pieces of kit immediately okay so here is everything that you're going to find inside your box for the p3 pro on the back is a few exercises and what's included and this is everything that you are going to expect to find when you purchase one of these P3 Pros. So you have your little carry bag, which is cool. It all fits in the bag, despite the fact it looks like it doesn't. All goes in there, a nice little tie down top as well. So you can travel with it to the gym, um, to see clients if you're a PT or just for your own personal use, down to the park, etc. Also, you'll find a little Allen key, which goes in to there for the little grub screw. To fasten down your hook the suspension trainer is here um, like i said the bag and a few extra bits on the side to add to uh, to get some different variations out of the suspension trainer all well and easy to assemble and very straightforward hence the bag very easy to throw into the bag and to take to travel with you elsewhere i won't lie i have used this already i've been using it for about a week now I've in implemented it into my workouts. I didn't have one of these before, I do now get it. But straight off the bat, I will say that the quality, the fit and the finish of this feels amazing. For the money compared to other options, the quality is amazing. Uh, it's really sturdy and you will soon find out for yourselves. So I figured I'd quickly dive into a few reasons why I think you should buy a suspension trainer and the key benefits to owning one. Owning a suspension trainer can be great for the current situation in the world with the lockdown restrictions and gyms being closed here in the UK. If you're like myself and you're very limited to the equipment you have access to, a suspension trainer is pretty limitless. If you have somewhere to fasten it down or tighten it to, there is endless amounts of exercises you can do which will target muscles in a way that dumbbells etc can't. It's great for core strength, it's great for body weight strength and like I say, the workouts are pretty endless. I can do a full hour's workout to an hour and a half just using a suspension trainer alone. And if you're questioning whether you get a pump like you would from free weights or you know cable machines, yes, the answer is yes. If you're using the equipment correctly and your form is good, you'll definitely see benefits and a nice good pump from a TRX or suspension trainer. Another factor about the suspension trainer, that is the fact that it doesn't take up much room at all. You've got a handy little storage bag which you can throw it in when you're not using it and when you are find a quiet secure place to put it and it takes up very little room at all if you're like me and you're living in a shared house i don't really get in anybody's way i fasten it to the pull-up bar that i got from a volvo over and i just stay out of everybody's way and i get my workout done nice and simple very handy easy to assemble and very little room is being taken up when i am using it okay so how about we set this up throw it onto the pull-up bar, dive into a few exercises, show you guys how to set it up and get on with the video. I'm sorry if the clips look different and sound different or the quality is different. I'm just playing around with new settings on the GoPro, just trying to work out what works best in the lighting conditions that I have. Anyway, I'm gonna throw the suspension bar, the suspension trainer onto the bar. The suspension trainer comes with this grapple hook here, very standard. I'm sorry as well, this squeaky floor. Uh, so this grapple hook isn't wide enough to fit around the bar. So I overcome that by using the attachment that you'll get in the box, which does fit around the bar, like so. So I loop it over and just feed it through a hole, like so. So once you have this tightened down and fastened to the bar, grab a hold of your trainer, get the grapple hook and loop it through whichever hole you see fit. I'll probably just go through this one here. 
easily accessible. By doing this, it's not ideal, only because it's now sitting lower than if it was directly onto the bar, but I make do with what I have. It's still secure. You also can adjust the trainer with the straps like so to different heights. So just to show you quickly what I've done, I fastened this little loop around here directly to the bar and then a little grapple hook to this loop here. It's not the tidiest way of doing it, as long as it's secure and it's not gonna go anywhere. As I say, you can adjust the height of the handles on the trainer anyway, just by pulling through these tabs. So that's not a problem, as long as it's secure and fastened down, which I know it is as I use this bar every day. It's not going anywhere. So how about we dive into a couple of exercises that you can do targeting various different muscles on your body with a suspension trainer in hand. So without further ado, let me show you a few exercises that I find easy and very beneficial to my physique. Okay, exercise number one, targeting your back muscles and a very simple one to do so as well. What you wanna do, you wanna put your feet forward, like so, lean back into it at a slight angle. Make sure your suspension train out is even and you're just gonna pull yourself up like so. Using the same technique with your feet forward, but your upper body leaning backwards, you can target the back muscles again in a different way. So feet forward, lean back, and this time you're gonna pull in and open, just like so. If you find it easy, then what you can do, bring your feet further forward, lean further back. That's going to make it harder for you. Just like so. Keeping the same technique throughout the motion. And that's two very easy exercises to target your back muscles. So this time I'm gonna show you a very easy exercise to target your biceps. All you're going to want to do when you're in this position, lean back, twist so your fingers are facing upwards and curl inwards, just like so. Very easy and very effective. Again, if you find this easy, you can bring your feet further inwards, which will make it more and more difficult the further in your feet go. So you can also input a twist in the motion at the wrist, starting with your hands facing downward, like so. Twist and pull. Twist and pull. Twist and pull. What well, the benefit to this is you're gonna get a deeper range of motion and you're also gonna target the peak of the bicep. So guys, that has been the P3 Pro suspension trainer from Evolve Over. Um, if you're looking up here at the pull-up bar, I'll also leave a link in the description to that too, as well as up here, a link to the video doing a review and a breakdown of that pull-up bar. If you're interested in purchasing one of these suspension pros, I'll leave the link in the description as well as a code for you to get a further discount off. It's a very good price compared to other suspension trainers on the market and I believe it's a good one too, it works well for me and I hope it does for you too. Again, apologies for the quality of the video, I uh, literally just started using this camera today. My iPhone has given up the ghost so it's time to move on and it means I need to learn new skills but we'll get there eventually. So thanks for sticking with me, I hope you find this useful. Uh, I will do a separate video in regards to more workouts with the suspension trainer, I didn't want to drag this one out for too long. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon. As always, like, comment and subscribe and I will see you very soon.